Now we come to the peritoneal tracings. Peritoneal tracings, we can start from the anterior abdominal wall. Once it has covered the liver, falciform ligaments. Then from the porta hepatis, it is going towards the stomach and forming the lesser momentum. Covering the stomach and then forming the greater momentum, greater curvature. The space behind the lesser momentum and behind the stomach is the omental bursa or it is also known as lesser set. Now this is bounded posteriorly by the posterior abdominal wall in a posterior parietal peritoneum and in front of the pancreas. Pancreas is retroperitoneum. And this lesser sac has got a superior recess going up to the diaphragm and an inferior recess going up to the omentum. And this arrow is the arrow of the entry to the epiploic foramina. That's the greater sac. You can open, uh, get entry into the lesser omentum, the lesser sac, by putting your finger behind the lesser omentum. This is known as foramen of Winslow. Entry is bounded by the porta hepatis, that is common bile duct, portal vein, and hepatic artery. Posteriorly, it is bounded by the inferior vena cover, superior it is bounded by the liver, and inferior it is bounded by the duodenum. Then uh, this uh, uh, part of the peritoneum covers the uh, transverse colon and goes posteriorly to the transverse mesocolon. This is transverse mesocolon. And then it continues lower down, covering the duodenum and forming another mesentery. This is a small bowel mesentery, covering the small gut. And then it continues posteriorly, lower down, and goes into the pelvis. We will discuss the arrangement of the peritoneum in the male pelvis and female pelvis uh, in the next slide. Now this uh, diagram shows, uh, tracing shows the uh, peritoneal reflection at the level of the stomach and the spleen. And uh, this indentation is due to the, this indentation posteriorly, this is dorsum, is due to uh, lumbar vertebra. This kidneys, that's the one kidney, that's another kidney, this is inferior vena cava, and there's the outer. These are all retroperitoneal structures. Peritoneum is over here. This is peritoneum. So they are lying behind the peritoneum. And uh, here you see the porta hepatis having the portal vein, having the uh, common bile duct, and having the cystic artery. This is the lesser momentum covering the stomach over here. And this arrow is the entrance of the foramen of Winslow, which communicates the greater sac with the lesser sac or omental bulge. Boundaries and clearly is the porta hepatis, behind is the inferior vena cover. And over here on the more uh, uh, left side, spleen is connected with the stomach by gastrosplenic ligament and spleen is connected with the liver by uh, spleen is connected by the kidney by leno renal ligament so spleen is completely inside the peritoneum the uh, gastrosplenic ligament is the remnant of the dorsal mesentery of the foregut and the lesser omentum is the remnant of the uh, ventral mesentery of the foregut. Now we come to the peritoneal linings in the male pelvis. The peritoneum coming from the lower abdomen over here 
there are two main structures in the male bladder and rectum so coming here the peritoneum is covering the upper part of the rectum completely a part of the middle rectum uh, partially and then it is coming and covering the superior aspect of the bladder so this pouch is known as the rectovesical pouch this is the rectovesical pouch and the bladder is subperitoneal and then it continues with the anterior abdominal wall so there is only one pouch in male penis that is rectovesical pouch now we come to the peritoneum uh, in the female pelvis the peritoneum coming from the lower abdomen uh, covers the rectum again completely in the upper third partially in the middle third and then it uh, comes up to the posterior fornix and it reflects back on the posterior wall of the uterus fundus of the uterus and then it goes again on the anterior wall of the uterus and then reflects on the anterior surface of the bladder superior surface of the bladder and then and continues with the anterior abdominal wall now this uh, reflection between the rectum and the uterus is known as retro recto uterine pouch and this reflection between the bladder and the uterus is known as vesico uterine pouch now this recto uterine pouch is substantially deeper as compared to vesico uterine pouch and this is going up to the uh, posterior fornix touching almost the upper vagina so and this is the most dependent part of the uh, pelvic cavity if there is any blood in the abdominal in the into the greater sac if there is any blood hemorrhage over here this is going to trickle down and collect over here in the pouch of douglas this is recto uterine pouch is also known as pouch of douglas and uh, if there is ectopic pregnancy pregnancy outside the uterus it may get ruptured and once it gets ruptured the blood will collect over here and that can be felt by a finger in the rectum uh, by a finger in the rectum or per vaginal examination so this is very important consideration in female pelvis recto uterine vaginal pouch recto uterine pouch or recto vaginal pouch or pouch of douglas so we stop over here and uh, thank you we'll continue next time with some more other topics